Thanks for joining us at Ride On Replicas, where we're proud to bring you the best scale model kit reviews on the planet. This review is brought to you in part by Rogers Hobby Center in Saginaw, Michigan, where the fun begins. This review covers the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. Now, it's a 125 scale kit from Ravel, number 85-4501. Now, Jeeps were designed for the military back in World War II but it's been widely used by civilians. And the Rubicon has been in a few movies. It's a rugged vehicle. And I think this is probably the third iteration of the body style. Now it's a skill level four kit with 92 pieces molded in white, clear, chrome, black vinyl tires, metal springs, metal axles, and water slide decals. Now the instructions are laid out pretty well and the dimensions when you're done are about six and three quarter by uh, long by three and um, a quarter inches wide and three and a quarter inches high. Now I would say it's a little easier than the level four. Um, I think anybody with a few kits under their belt could make a good uh, representation uh, and build this model. Sounds like our uh, program director Newt's got a question about the review. That's really cool. Do the doors come off the model like on real Jeeps? Well, uh, not unless you cut the doors out with a scribe or a razor saw uh, and add some hinges if you want to put the doors back on. But it can be done pretty easily. I love Jeeps. The way they look, they should have just called them cool or fun or something instead of Jeep. What does Jeep mean anyway? Well, that's a great question, Newt, without a real clear answer. There's quite a few theories, but I like the one about Popeye's comic strip pet Eugene the Jeep that could go anywhere and do anything. Here are the contents of the kit. As you can see, they're nice clean sprues with a great looking decal sheet. And we'll be using mostly uh, Model Master liquid cement and tube glue. Occasionally, though, a little bit of that uh, clear or white glue for windows. And sometimes uh, some super glue for finicky parts. Now remember to heed the manufacturer safety and use guidelines when using any of the products you see or hear used in the review. Here are the decals in this kit, and as you can see, they're very colorful, and the register is just, just great. So, you have, may find it um, uh, expedient to use some of the setting solutions for some of the longer ones, however, to make sure they conform to the body. We'll start construction with the frame and the exhaust, and as you can see, uh, the motor, uh, it's a full motor, the bottom half, and it is molded right into the frame, as well as the fuel tank. Now the exhaust is separate for a little extra detailing, but if you pick out these colors, you see the, the blue engine uh, and the uh, aluminum transmission or steel transmission. Uh, also there's an aluminum muffler and steel pipe and then um, the um, uh, fuel tank is also aluminum color. Now um, you just um, wait for this to dry and we'll move on. Assemble the two halves of the transfer case. Um, it goes together nicely. And then we're going to paint that aluminum before we attach it to the frame assembly. Now keep in mind you need to scrape off any paint or chrome plating uh, for areas where you want to glue parts together for good adhesion. Here I uh, will work with the uh, front axle unit and you can see it's pretty much a, uh, mostly a one piece unit. You've got some spare springs there for realism though. Uh, so grab those uh, two uh, uh, you know, four spring and screw pieces, and we'll um, paint the uh, front axle assembly uh, semi-gloss black like the frame. And then uh, the springs get installed into the front axle, and then that whole thing is attached to the frame with the uh, two long metal screws. Same thing for the rear axle assembly. Go ahead and detach the sprue uh, mounting points and, and paint that to, in the same manner with some semi-gloss black. And then the two metal springs are installed into the axle, and then the whole thing is screwed to the uh, frame with uh, two metal screws. So get out the wheels and tires for the kit and go ahead and paint the uh, wheels a silver color and then they get snapped into the four tires. I've shown uh, for comparison here previous kits tires on the right there. A much more aggressive mud type of tread. Um, so um, this does have different uh, parts in it so the kits are a little bit different. Locate the kits two metal axles um, they're a nice press fit, so just um, push one of them into one of the tires, slide it through, and then 
and then uh, squeeze the tires together until they stop uh, and do that for both front and rear axles. And here you have your rolling chassis. Well, you can see here there's uh, some script work uh, that goes under the rear seat so it'll be covered uh, for uh, copyrights and logos but there's also one on the underside uh, that would uh, be seen so you'll want to um, uh, sand that off so uh, you can remove that. Assemble the uh, fronts and backs of the two front seats and then uh, that assembly is painted uh, a dark gray and it's been detailed with a little bit of gold on the insert there and repeat this step for the uh, other uh, front seat assembly too. We can treat the uh, rear seat assembly the same way, put the two halves together and then detail the inserts uh, with uh, the gold color. It's also the same dark gray as the front. We'll work with these pieces next and uh, after a light primer is dried on the body, uh, I painted it with some testers gloss yellow, that's uh, 1214 uh, spray. And then the shifter gets painted semi-gloss black detailed with some silver and the four wheel drive lever is painted semi-gloss black. Now the shifter and the four wheel drive levers are attached to the interior floor. Now we can attach the front rear seat assemblies to the floor, uh, but remember to scrape off the paint at the glue points. So gather up these parts for the interior and the, uh, the right side and the left side get painted semi-gloss black and then the firewall is sprayed uh, also a tester's uh, gloss yellow. Now the right interior side and left and the firewall can be glued uh, into position on the interior floor in the areas provided. We'll continue with some of the uh, interior pieces around the dash and also the grab handle there and it gets uh, attached to the uh, dashboard and then that whole unit is uh, painted semi-gloss black. Now you add a decal here uh, to the uh, dashboard for the gauges and then the steering wheel gets glued to the column and then the whole column assembly painted semi-gloss black. Then you can attach that to the dashboard assembly. Now the decal number 12 there is applied to the steering wheel also. Remove the uh, paint from the edges and you can uh, glue the dashboard assembly into the interior. Get out the uh, three pieces for the uh, roll bar there and um, we're going to add uh, those uh, parts to the assembly here by um, just putting those together. Um, it gets attached um, to the um, interior assembly when you um, put the three pieces together. Uh, it's pretty simple for uh, a roll cage so uh, you shouldn't have any problems with that for alignment. Shown for a comparison here you can see um, back to back the uh, roll cage uh, on the right is a little bit different configuration from previous versions. Now we can work with the, um, the radiator surround and the, and the grill area here. And so we're going to uh, paint the radiator wall flat black and then the headlight reflectors are attached to the headlights which are in uh, turn then attached to the radiator wall and the headlight bezels are attached to the other side of the radiator wall. Now it's time to clean up the body. There's some light parting lines. You'll want to sand those smooth um, and check for any blemishes and sprue attachment points. But uh, once you get a, a light coat of um, uh, primer on there, you can spray the body. I used uh, the same gloss yellow as the, um, the rest of the vehicle. And then the um, semi-gloss uh, got um, a black was used to paint the visors. And the windshield and the radiator wall assembly then are installed into the body. Now we'll use uh, the two coarse thread uh, screws to attach the body to the um, to the frame and chassis assembly. And so here's the um, uh, frame attached and uh, you can see it's turning into a fun looking vehicle. Now we'll use uh, these parts for the off-road um, off light bar and we're going to paint uh, the light bar semi-gloss black and attach that to the windshield frame and the roll bar assemblies and then uh, the rear view mirror gets attached uh, to the off-road light bar mount. Locate these pieces in the kit and we're going to uh, paint the uh, snorkel uh, filter there and the air intake uh, with some semi-gloss black. And once that's dried uh, you can attach that um, and install it into the right mirror housing and the snorkel assembly and the right mirror then are attached to the right side of the body. 
Now we'll work on some of the exterior parts and uh, the two um, sill plates there, they go below the doors and, and they get to the painted uh, silver or you can uh, probably cover those with some uh, bare metal foil or however you want to finish those off and then attach those onto the body. Now both the hood latches and the left uh, mirror housing are painted semi-gloss black and then it gets attached uh, to the mirror housing gets attached to the left mirror uh, that gets put in place there and then the whole assembly is glued to the left side of the body and the hood latches then are attached to the hood. And now we can use the four fenders and the front uh, and the rears are different so keep those straight. But we're going to paint those um, with a dark gray uh, and then to accent the seating so to speak and then they get attached to the body assembly. Now we'll work with some of the uh, rear exterior pieces and uh, paint uh, the taillights the stoplight red and then the uh, rear bumper, fuel filler cap and license plates. Uh, they get painted semi-gloss black. The exhaust tips painted silver and then the license plate, both taillights, rear bumper and the fuel filler cap can be attached to the body assembly. Now the exhaust tips then are attached to the end of the exhaust. These are the parts for the, uh, the rear spare tire and so we're going to uh, paint the uh, bracket a semi-gloss black and it gets uh, detailed uh, with a little stoplight red in the for the stoplight. Now the spare wheel can be uh, painted um, silver and then the uh, spare wheel gets snapped onto the tire and then uh, the spare tire assembly can be attached to the body. Now we'll move back to the other end and the license plate um, it gets painted a semi-gloss black uh, the bracket there and then uh, the front bumper is painted semi-gloss black and detailed with some silver and the insert for the front bumper gets painted um, dark gray and the uh, both the driving light lenses and the license plate then are attached to the front bumper. The front bumper assembly and then the front bumper insert can be attached to the frame. So use these pieces and paint the uh, door handle semi-gloss black as well as the windshield wipers and then uh, they get installed onto the body and both the turn signals then uh, uh, come in clear so you want to paint those with some turn signal amber and once these parts are dry it add those to the body assembly. Now get uh, plenty of warm water um, and refresh that as you need it uh, but the decals are really easy to use they go on very easily uh, and they're a nice uh, addition to the body style and once that's done you're finished. Well there you have it. This great looking little kit um, is rated as a skill level 4 by Ravel but I think that's because of the piece count. In my uh, eye it's an easy builder and a real nice uh, model to uh, work with uh, especially for a, a, a builder that hasn't had much experience. I'd rate it about a two and a half maybe three at the most. The decals go on very nicely and there were no real fit issues or problems with the assembly of this kit. Uh, most everything is uh, has positive glue points and uh, it's it's pretty nice. Uh, if I were you, I'd buy one and put it on my shelf.